You wanna talk weed? Early August, here together with hemp, cannabis sativa, plant family cannabisi, or cannabache, cousin humulus lupulus, hops. Cannabis sativa, it's an annual herbaceous flowering plant native from Asia. Sativa, meaning cultivated, sown, seeded, planted, due to its widespread cultivation for fiber, highly nutritious seeds, and more. Cannabis sativa, it's now more or less naturalized throughout, with a more or less cosmopolitan distribution. Hemp was cultivated throughout recorded history, used as a source of fiber, seed oil, food, recreation, spiritual and religious ceremonies, and medicine. The slender stems are hollow inside, and they can reach up to 5 meters tall, about 16 feet tall. The leaves are palmately compound, and apparently the three species of cannabis, sativa, indica, and ruderalis, can be distinguished between each other according to the morphology of their leaves. The flowers are small, greenish-yellow. Hemp is a dioecious plant with two houses. This is a male plant with usually only staminate clusters of flowers. Well, this is a female plant with usually only clusters of pistillate flowers. Pistillate flowers are in dense, spike-like racemes inflorescences. When cultivated for fiber, hemp plants are densely planted and they grow two to three meters tall, six to 10 feet tall, almost with no branching. Extracting fiber from hemp plants, it's a tedious process, starting with redding, which employs water and bacteria to separate the fiber from the rest of the stem, followed by crushing and drying. The fiber is yellowish brown, green, gray, and usually not bleached or dyed. Hemp fiber is strong and durable and used for cordage, such as twine or rope as well as for burlap or canvas. Specially processed hemp fiber can be used, such as linen, for clothing or bed sheets. Hemp fiber can be used to make shoes and even biodegradable plastics, or even hempcrete, together with a lime binder making a product similar to concrete. Hemp is used in paper making and it can provide a sustainable alternative to fiberglass insulation for buildings. Car manufacturing industry is interested in hemp for making bioplastics, apparently more durable than polypropylene plastics and lighter in weight. Beyond the applications in construction and car manufacturing, hemp fiber has also been described to have antibacterial properties opening the possibility of being used in surgery. Hemp plants cultivated for seed production are much shorter, much branched, and cultivated less dense. The edible seeds contain about 30% oil, are a good source of protein, dietary fiber, and magnesium. Hemp seeds can be eaten raw or lightly toasted or roasted, and they can be added to a variety of foods such as salads and smoothies to add to their nutritional content. Hemp seed oil was used for paints, varnishes, making soap, but it is a good edible oil with a low smoke point, best used raw in salad dressings and dips. With all these applications and great uses, what really made hemp famous and infamous, it's actually the Delta 9 tetracannabinol. Besides this psychoactive phytochemical, Hemp contains more than 500 other cannabinoids, but many of them in trace amounts. Another cannabinoid produced in high concentrations in plants of cannabis sativa is cannabidiol, better known as CBD. 
CBD, cannabidiol, it's non-psychoactive and it has been recently shown to counteract the psychoactive activity of THC. Differences in phytochemistry of one plant to another plant and in the physiological response of one person to another person can produce a variety of psychological effects in humans. The flowers and fruits, and to a lesser extent, the leaves, stems, and seeds of cannabis plants contain psychoactive compounds known as cannabinoids that are consumed for recreational, spiritual, and medicinal purposes. When so used, preparations from flowers and fruits, called marijuana, as well as preparations from the resinous extract of the female plants, are consumed by smoking, vaporizing, and oral ingestion. Historically, tinctures, teas, and ointments were the common preparations from hemp plants. In traditional medicine of India, hemp plants have been used as hallucinogenic, hypnotic, analgesic, sedative, and anti-inflammatory agents. When the production of psychoactive cannabinoids is the plan, female plants are cultivated without the male plants to induce partenocarpy, or production of fruit without seed, more commonly known as sinsemia in Spanish for without seed, which increase the cannabinoid-rich resin production. Because of its rich repertoire of phytochemicals, hemp plants are experiencing a revival in interest. It's very diverse industrial application and its relative ease of cultivation. It's not a demanding plant. For water, for example, it's less demanding than other fiber plants, such as cotton. It shows quite good resistance to drought and pests, and its well-developed root system to support these relatively tall plants prevents soil erosion. But it is an annual plant, which agricultural is more demanding to the soil and the environment than perennial crops. The great versatility of hemp plants also encourages future studies focused on the biochemistry and genetic engineering of cannabis sativa. Research on cannabis phytochemicals and its widespread therapeutical use has been greatly limited due to a variety of factors. Illegality of cultivation and consumption for once due to its psychoactive effects and potential inducing of dependency as well as great variability of active compounds from one genotype to another genotype within this particular plant species, as in all plant species. Further attentions are now drawn to non-psychoactive, non-THC cannabinoids, such as cannabidiol or CBD, which may act synergistically and contribute to the pharmacological power of medicinal-based cannabis extract. The THC content of recreational cannabis has been increased dramatically in the last several decades, from about 3% in the 1980s to about 20% nowadays. Consuming psychoactive recreational cannabis doesn't come without side effects. Effects of short-term use can include memory and cognitive deficits, impaired motor coordination, and even psychosis. Effects of long-term use of recreational THC have been associated with increased risk of addiction, cognitive impairment, and altered brain development, particularly when initial use started in early adolescence, eventually leading to an increased risk of chronic psychosis. Even consuming the nutritional hemp seeds comes with potential minor side effects. Taking hemp seeds increases the estrogen level in the body, which could be a good thing. But when already taking estrogen supplements, this added level of estrogen can add to its potential negative side effects. Consuming hemp seeds can interact with medications that control high blood pressure. Consuming hemp seeds can lower blood pressure, which again, it's a good thing but together with medication that controls blood pressure can bring your blood pressure too low. But here in Romania, cannabis sativa, cunepa, it's a naturalized plant here to stay. Quite common and abundant along roadsides, agricultural lands, embankments, 
and more.